Students Association at the Okanagan College and the Vernon Chamber of Commerce. My name is Jason Keyes of JCI Vernon and along with Linda Elmos, a political science professor here at the Okanagan College, we are honoured to be the moderators for this evening's event. Um, our objective this evening is that you all leave here more informed. Right, informed about the issues, the candidates and their views, and perhaps most importantly, your own views on things. Alright, so we have back here, each party has information for you. I'd like to point out, up here we have renewing democracy through cooperation. They have this informal uh, straw poll, you see the jars maybe. So in the intermission, you might want to go uh, make your vote with a little spoonful of water of a certain color. And if you're not sure yet, there's undecided. All right? And outside, we have Elections Canada. They're here to sign up new voters. You can check to see if you've been registered, and, and they can answer any questions. At this time, we would like to invite our hosts for the evening to come up and say a few words. And if you would, please welcome Sue Sully-Mosey of JCI Vernon. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. My name is Sue Sully-Mosey, and I'm the current chapter president of JCI Vernon. Before we get things started tonight, I'd like to tell you a little bit about JCI. So JCI stands for Junior Chamber International. We are a worldwide organization of over 200,000 young active citizens aged 19 to 40 who are all working towards creating positive change through leadership and development opportunities. This organization is the vehicle and the backbone to all of our local projects and fundraisers and gives us a platform for that our members use to create positive impact in the world around them. This year alone, we've been active in the community with our annual Good Citizen of the Year project. Um, with our annual hospital gala raising funds for the Vernon Jubilee Hospital Foundation. We were up at Fantastic selling beer tickets, we hosted a Zoomathon charity event, sold dog treats, ran a breakfast drive through, partnered with Ford uh, uh, through a test drive event, and ran a dunk tank at the Downtown Vernon Association Sun Sunshine Festival. Tonight is another example of the dedication and the motivation of our members to learn and thrive and continue to be active in our community. We were lucky enough to be able to partner with the Vernon Students Association here at the Okanagan College, as well as with the Vernon Chamber of Commerce to bring you this youth-focused forum. Please check with Elections Canada, who are outside, to make sure you're registered to vote, and then get out and vote on October 19th. So enjoy the evening, and if you have any questions about JCI Vernon, come chat with me or with any of the other JCI Vernon members that are here tonight. Thank you. Association, Eric Rice. Hello everybody. 38.8 percent of the youth vote between the ages of 18 and 24 actually exercised their right to vote. We want that to change. Part of the reason why we're hosting this event with the youth focus tonight. I am pleased that uh, we have a number of students here from Fulton High School. What's impressive about that, even though most of you probably aren't a voting age for this election, this is an important time to begin to engage in the process, learn, hear, and inform opinions. And that's important, so that you can then exercise your right the next time. It's impressive because right now, out on our new athletics facility, the Fulton football team is playing a game. <laughs> and they're still here. Although, you're probably enjoying that because you're not sitting in the rain. I welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for attending. Thank you, Eric. I would now like to invite Dan Rogers, the General Manager of the Vernon Chamber of Commerce, to say a few words. 
Thanks very much, uh, Jason. It's a pleasure on behalf of uh, our board, our current uh, and new president, Tracy Cobb Reeves, to bring greetings on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce. As a former broadcaster in a previous life, I've never met a microphone I didn't like. <laughs> so I will uh, try to be as brief as possible, but I uh, want to indulge those that are gathered here as I uh, recognize some folks that have contributed to make this event possible, uh, to recognize the candidates, and to also share one brief story with you from another previous life. Uh, some time that I spent in politics for about 15 years in local government. But first, let me begin by acknowledging uh, the work of the Student Association and JCI for putting this together while we, uh, and very uh, appreciative, Sue, of acknowledging our work, but the real work uh, took place by JCI in putting it together, getting all the candidates and organizing this and working with the Student Association. So our hats off to them uh, for the work that they, uh, they have done. And I'm sure that you will be receptive and appreciative and show that appreciation as the, as the night goes on. I want to acknowledge uh, the candidates uh, as someone that's been in uh, public life in the past. Campaigns are an endurance race, uh, but it's just a small sampling of what it's like once you get elected and balancing that. Uh, there's an old saying in uh, politics that I certainly uh, believe in, and that's uh, be tough on issues, but soft on people. Be hard on the issues when you raise them, have good, thorough discussions, but be soft on people because these people are putting their self, their selves and their lives, amazing, even your past lives and all your social media. It's <laughs> 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 all in this day and age, how much you dug up, what you did when you were 13. <laughs> there wasn't, Twitter wasn't around, thank goodness. <laughs> the future candidates over here will need to uh, but I want to thank you, and I think they deserve a round of applause. For us. I do want to acknowledge the students that, that are here, and uh, I spent some 15 years in local government uh, outside of this community, but uh, quite often we would have students come into City Hall, and I would welcome them there on behalf of our community. And I would begin by saying, just tell me how your day started. Uh, what did you do? So, what did you guys do when you got up this morning? Probably went to the washroom, right? <laughs> got up, had a shower maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> so did you know local government made that possible? Your local city council works really hard. So then what did you do? You got on the, the bus or maybe went to the road? Well, yeah, we take care of that. So what do you do in your spare time? Well, I go to the pool or, yeah, local government does all that. <laughs> so I just have one question for you today. What did your federal government do for you today? <laughs> now, that's a good question to ask because the answer will be forthcoming. This evening, you're going to find out, and for many of us that think we know, we'll be reminded what your federal government does, how important the role that they play, how they will play that role, what they can and can't do, or what they shouldn't do. So, it will be an opportunity to really learn the views and the perspectives of those that are here. Uh, and I want to leave you just with one point, and while we celebrate those that are here, for me, as someone who was previously involved in public life, I was always concerned with the people that aren't here, and those that don't vote, and we've seen the number up there. So if I could ask anything, and in particular look at the student, because many of you still aren't of age to vote, but you would likely have siblings or friends that are old enough, challenge them. Ask them what they're doing. Is this their first time that they get to vote? Are you taking that responsibility seriously? Are you becoming informed? Let's start spreading the word and increase significantly those that go out and vote. That's a critical issue that I think we need to generate more conversation about. So thanks again for allowing the Chamber of Commerce to be part of this, and I wish all the candidates well. Thanks very much.